everyone, it's Mrs. Santana again. Happy Tuesday. If you're watching this video, you may have missed Tuesday's video Zoom lesson on Google Classroom. Continue watching to see um, what we missed, um, what are uh, the assignments that are due this week, and how to complete them. Hello again. Today we'll be going over our Tuesday designated ELD video lesson. Goals and objectives. Our goal is to use our language tools and we'll be talking a little bit more about that as our lesson continues. Ideally, we would be joining on Zoom and interacting and speaking with other students um, via a Google Classroom to collaborate and offer conversation support. While we were on Zoom, we remind every, remind everybody of our norms, keeping it keeping our mute on until directed to speak. If you have questions during the lesson, you may use the chat space. Help each other and be respectful as well. All right, here is our do now or first five activity. What do you see in the picture? Take a minute there, think about what you see, and you may use our sentence helpers and word bank as you need them. What do you see in the picture? All right. If you mention that you saw a tree, people, playground, sand, or any other item not listed, you are correct. Remember, Every Monday, you'll have um, your picture activity, as you saw. Um, our goal is to write anywhere from five to ten items that we see in a sentence, which an example would have been what we saw earlier. In this pic, this is a picture of hmm, a playground. That would be a great response for one of your um, ass ass assignments. Let's go on to our next. Um, activity. Wednesday. Our Wednesday activity will be a fluency practice. So ideally tomorrow you um, would take some time to read this passage and try to read as many words as you can within one minute. Notice the clock here. We'll set the timer for one minute and begin reading. Listen to how a fluent reader might read this story. Basketball practice. Roger and Gary are brothers. Roger has basketball practice with his team. The Rockets, every day after school. All the kids on the team are between 9 and 11 years old. After Roger's mom picks his younger brother, Gary, up from school, they go to the park to watch Roger practice. Roger is tall and is good at passing the ball to his teammates. He is also good at shooting free throws. He hopes to play on his high school team someday. Gary is only seven years old and is too young to play, but he enjoys watching his brother. Gary is proud of his brother and hopes to play basketball like him when he gets older. At home, oh, do you hear my timer? All right. Now for this activity, we're going to track where did we stop, where did the timer stop us? And we ended up somewhere around talking about his brother. Gary is proud of his brother and hopes to play basketball when he gets home. At home. So right around 119 to 128 um, is what you would type in as your best time, is what I would type in, excuse me, as my best time. Again, the goal is to A, read as many words as you can within the minute, and B, try to sound as fluent as possible. Notice the way Miss Santana read that story. Try to make it sound lifelike and less robotic. Fluent readers read with um, enunciation and make it sound like everyday speaking. All right. After you time yourself, the next activity has to do with sense verbs. Say sense verbs to yourself. One more time, sense verbs. 
And the last time, say sense verbs again. All right, you might be wondering, why did I ask you to say those words three times? Well, studies show that when you are introduced to um, a new word or, or term, repeating it to yourself internalizes it and um, helps you memorize a, the new word that you learned. So speaking of sense verbs, um, let's review what we learned last week about sense verbs. Sense verbs describes one of the sen five senses. Height, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. And as we're reading, a good reader not only is fluent, but also helps describe what they read about with these five sense examples. How did things look in the story? How might somebody have felt during this part of the story? What are things you might have, uh, what are the sounds you might have heard? Taste, and what are things that you may have smelled? This will help you complete your Wednesday activity. Again, you can always refer back to last week's video um, for more information on how to complete the Wednesday um, activity. All right, before we review, I'd like to bring up our assignment. So, does this picture look familiar? Okay, good. Here you would type in the words or the sentences that we reviewed earlier in the video. Here's our fluency passage. And here's what you need to be ready to answer on Thursday. Remember those sense verbs, that thing I made you repeat to yourself three times? Well, here's your opportunity for you to practice using sense verbs as you describe what you read about. So have ready, be ready to answer sense verbs that you might use to describe um, the story basketball practice. So based on what I read, how would I describe how things might look? Feel, sound, taste, and smell. The goal is that you add at least five adjectives depending on your particular ELD assignment. A few of you might be wondering, well, my assignment includes some other part to it. And we'll explain that during the video lesson. Before we get to that part, let's talk about the five ad adjectives that I might have to add below. So in order for me to easily see what response you have, we can use the same example that we did last week from Costco. Last week we had a fluency passage on Costco, and we described what things, how things might look at Costco. We use the um, adjective big. Excuse me, big. But now this week our passage has to do with basketball practice. So now I got to be creative. How might somebody look as they're playing basketball? We can describe how dairy how, excuse me, Roger or Gary might have looked. I'm going to refer back to the passage. I'm looking for a sensory verb that describes how one of these two characters might look. Roger and Gary are brothers. Roger has a basketball practice with his team, the Rockets, every day after school. So far, they haven't really said much about how they look. Let's keep reading. All of the kids on the team are between 9 and 11 years old. After Roger's mom's, excuse me, after Roger's mom picks up his younger brother Gary from school, they go to the park to watch Roger practice. Hmm. Have they described how anything looks so far? Not in too much detail. Let's keep reading. Roger is tall and is good at passing the ball to his teammates. Ooh. Here's something I can use, a sense verb that helps me describe how something or someone looks. Did you notice how they described Roger? In the sentence, Roger is tall and is good at passing the ball to his teammates, what sensory verb are they describing here to describe Roger? How does he look? If you said Roger is tall, 
Great answer. You're correct. So to describe how Roger looks, one adjective I can use is tall. Some of these are going to be um, easy to find directly in the text, and some of these are inferred, meaning you may not be able to find the exact answer in the text, but you can use clues to make an inference to prove how somebody might either feel, sound, taste, or smell in the text. Feel can be one of those tricky ones, and I might have to use some of my inferential evidence some of the clues that are leading me to believe how somebody might feel. Now in my passage, I didn't get very far when I did the fluency. I only read around 120 words. But I could probably assume that as Roger is playing, how might somebody feel who plays, um, somebody who's playing basketball feel? What do we already know about basketball? Have you ever watched anybody play basketball before? Some of you might be able to describe this um, portion without having to go back to the text. As we're um, in our video lesson today, we described that, oh yeah, when we, when we watch other people play basketball or have seen um, basketball players on TV possibly or played ourselves, we might feel tired, you might even feel exhausted. Those are both really good sensory verbs. A way to describe how somebody might have felt. Again, Please highlight your work in yellow so that I can easily see what words you added to this list. All right, so that is another review of our sense verbs activity. Let's take a look at our review points for our lesson. So remember to look out for the language tool icons. These are nice hints to help us complete our activities. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday, we will have a Zoom meeting. For my middle school friends, refer to a different time. Um, you might be um, watching a different at a different time than our um, elementary kids. And last but not least, remember to have a conversation or speak with someone every day. All right, friends, that wraps up our designated ELD lesson for Tuesday. I hope to see you guys soon. Be safe. See you on Thursday.